Good evening. I just had a really good show, finished up my show. <clears throat> the verdict came back in, and uh, the guy was found guilty on all charges. I love it when guilty people are found guilty, and especially when they think they're smarter than everybody else. I love it when that happens. Off with his head! Off with his head? But um, I didn't get on to say that. Now, my husband reminded me today that Real with Robo didn't start, you know, as a channel where I just, you know, did whatever. It started with my opinion. So, it seemed everybody else is giving their opinion, but there's absolutely no white people that are giving their opinion on this thing. So... Me being me, I got to do this for the white people because these white people are scary. You know, they don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, and you already know how I roll on this channel. I don't care if you get your feelings hurt. Get mad, be mad, stay mad over there by yourself away from me. Get mad. <clears throat> now, this topic I'm talking about tonight is that BLM upper echelon person going to Chicago trying to explain why there was looting in the stores of a car store, I forget which one. Tesla. Tesla? Tesla. Tesla. Yeah, Tesla. Tesla. What are we thinking? Anyway, Tesla and Louis Vuitton and all that stuff. And she said, you know, people just trying to eat and, you know, this is reparations. Okay, first of all, I want to talk about reparations. All right. First of all, I want to talk about how the hell you're going to eat a car. Very carefully. Maybe they like their steaks rubbery. How are you going to judge how people like their steak? You know, they might eat the tires first because they're reminded of how rubbery their steaks usually are. Always get it medium well because then it's nice, nice, soft, juiced, and moist. I like it like that. Anyway, we're not talking about food here. Now, I wanted to talk about reparations. First of all, to be given reparations... You have to go through something like seriously traumatic where the government should owe you money for your trauma. That's reparations. So like say you murdered somebody's daughter and they're so damn depressed that they could not go to work, nothing like that. You are literally then ordered to pay reparations to that person. Okay, so let, let's look at this. I, I want to look at this at a fair level, all right? Because I am level-headed. I like logic. You want reparations for slavery. Okay. Number one, you were not a slave. Therefore, <laughs> you ain't getting none. Now, done with the reparations thing. I know that was fast, huh? But then people are like, but, but Robo, Ro, Robo, you forgot about systemic racism and systematic racism. You, you forgot about all the racism and injustice and inequality in America. Um, first of all, inequality. Who's the one that's always getting blamed for everything in America? What race? Can't get, riddle me that, bad man. Okay, white people. Okay. Um, injustice. If a black cop kills a white person, because this is like a hot topic issue today, so I'm going to use it. If a black cop kills a white criminal, nobody knows about it. Nothing happens. Knows about what? Exactly. <clears throat> if a white cop kills a black criminal, oh my God. 
for any reason whatsoever, mind you. Okay, this, this black criminal could be going for his gun, shooting him and his partner, already done killed 15 people, and still he'd be an innocent criminal. I don't know how the hell y'all get that, but okay. I, I'll roll with it. I, I'm open-minded. I'll roll with innocent criminals. You know what I mean? But the fact of the matter is, that is called injustice. When one race does not get the same attention as another race because of the race. That's injustice as well as racism. And I am still waiting on anybody that hears my voice to riddle me this Batman. Name one all white for whites only program that exists today. Don't play with me and go, well, you know, back in 1930, after 11, 10, there was this one program called, uh, called, uh, uh, I don't know, Crackers R Us, and it was for only white people. But that was back in like 18, 1830, like 11, 10, somewhere around there. Okay, don't do that to me. All right? Name one program that is all white for whites only. That is like the NAACP, the United Negro College Fund, and La Raza. Okay? And I know people are like, oh my God, did she just say the N word? Yes, I did, because it's the name of the damn program. Don't be fucking idiots. I don't like idiots. But name one program like that. I'm waiting. I've been waiting for three months for BLM to get back to me on that one. They still ain't got back to me on that one. Hello. I've been waiting for four months for my Facebook friends to get back to me on that one. They still ain't got back to me on that one. On YouTube, my friends still ain't got back to me on that one. It's been about three weeks. So, for real though, can anybody do it? No, it doesn't seem like anybody can. That is called inequality. When you have programs to help people because of their race. And only those types of people. It is called inequality. It is called racism. So don't talk to me about inequality, BLM. Do not do it, because I be the damn one. You know, the one that your mama said, you gonna come across somebody that ain't gonna take your mess, and she gonna put you in your damn place? That would be me. I am the one. All right? Call me Mary J. Blige. I'm the one. All right? That's real talk. Then she say, people just trying to eat. How you gonna eat shoes? You gonna eat clothes? Oh no, I meant like, you know, they take everything they done stole and then they sell it and then they get the money for it and then they go buy food. Um, that sentence seems like a lot of hard work to me. Why don't you just get a job and get that money legally? to buy your food. Oh, because, you know, people are racist, you know, white people, white men and companies, they ain't gonna hire a black person over a white person because, you know, because they black and they racist. Um, you mean to tell me that if a black man got dressed up in a suit and tie, got there 30 minutes early, had all the necessary skills needed to get the job, and a white man came in 30 minutes late looking like, what the fuck just rolled out of bed? That that, that company would still hire the white person because white. That's stupid. All right? This is what I mean by most of the black community's problems are self-inflicted because you listen to 
idiots like that lady. It's okay to go looting because, you know, stores have insurance. And like ABL said, right hand to God, that man, oh my God, he was preaching tonight. If you have not seen that video, you need to go see it right now. Like right now, the newest one he posted. And just be all up in that video. Because right hand to God, he was on point at every point. He said that's not how insurance works. All right. And it's really not. It's really not. This is the way insurance works because, you know, ABL, he's really high class and he's sophisticated. So he uses, you know, big words. I'm going to break it down to layman's terms because I don't like using big words. OK, this is what happened. Louis Vuitton puts their store in one of these communities. Now Louis Vuitton, the store, not only has to hire from around there, but they also have to pay the taxes for being a business around there, okay? So you got people getting jobs and you got Louis Vuitton paying taxes. So that all goes to your city, all to your funds, all to your community. Right? Now, Louis Vuitton buys insurance because they have some really nice stuff. Right? So they buy insurance because they want to make sure, you know, if somebody steals something, we got it covered. If, if accidentally uh, the coffee pot in the mom and shop, mom and pop <coughs> shop next door break down and it sets fire to our building and all our merchandise, we want to be covered. Okay. So they've got insurance. Now these rioters and looters that go into Louis Vuitton, break into their store, steal everything, and they do this constantly every time there's a little tiny problem that they don't understand or that they've seen a small snippet of a video of. So don't play stupid. I already know what it was all about. Okay, you saw a small snippet. The guy that got shot was actually shooting at cops. But we don't care about facts, right? We just care about, ooh, Louis Vuitton purse, girl, I'm going to be on fleek, go. No. Because every time you do that, the insurance company says, this is a bad part of town. So in order to have insurance... I've got to make sure that my costs are covered. So instead of $10 per month or per week or per whatever, you know, I'm going to charge them $50. Because they're in a bad part of town. It's prone to getting robbed, looted, burned down, everything. And I need to watch out for my business. Call the premium. So now Louis Vuitton, they going to sit there. They're going to look at the prices and say, you know what? But if we take our store over to that other neighborhood, over to where the people don't care about criminals if they get smashed on by the police, if, I, if we take our store over to the white neighborhood, where it's safer and not prone to going off because of a two-minute clip, and there's not ignorant people, then, and yes, if you loot and rob stores, you ignorant. And if you do it at the behest of social media, you really ignorant. And I say that. That's straight up, straightforward. Get mad if you want to. You know my rules. But now Louis Vuitton is going to move a store. That means all them people in your community that had a job at Louis Vuitton don't anymore. Unless they got a way to make it over to Louis Vuitton's new place. Now, Louis Vuitton will be paying taxes there and hiring people from that community. So you just shot yourself in the foot. Literally self-inflicted. And this is what I'm saying, y'all. Y'all need to think before you do anything. 
Because granted, you can get a fleek, own fleek Louis Vuitton purse and some heels, girl. Or you can have your community come up and get a job at Louis Vuitton, get paid, and then buy your own purse. And then you ain't got to worry about cops coming to your door and saying, uh, yeah, give up that purse. And while you at it, put these beautiful little steel bracelets on while you playing. See, these people on the top of the echelon at BLM don't give a damn about you. They don't give a damn about you. You can see what they heard it every other damn day. They are not broke. Therefore, they do not live in your community. They do not live around your kind of people. They want you to get in trouble for their stupidity. So basically, you know, when you say, oh, I never take the fall for a boy, you know, if, 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 I, if I'm uh, going to be charged with murder and actually old boy did it, I ain't going to serve the time for old boy. You doing that right now for them. They want people to act up and act a fool, but they ain't going to do it themselves because most of them idiots have already been to prison. And if they break the law, they're going to go back forever. And you would know that if you did a little research. Y'all is not dumb. I, I'm, not, I'm not convinced. I will never be convinced that black people are dumb. Okay? Because that's what they try to make you look at. Look at. And most of the people that are in BLM riots are stupid ass white people. I said it, white people, whenever you're ready to come at me, come on at me, come here, come at me, please come at me, because if you are rioting, looting, and burning down shit at the behest of some ignorant motherfucker, and you doing that because you ain't got a mind of your damn own, and you want to look like you fit in and you down with the movement, and that's why you doing all this stupid shit, then you dumb. You a dumbass motherfucker. And I say it twice. Dumbass motherfucker. You should know better. But then again, most of the white people there are motherfucking ignorant ass millennials. So I don't put nothing beyond those idiots. Now. Back to my thing about BLM. BLM, like I said in my other videos, they are not who you think they are. They are not. The leader of BLM, the whole thing, the kitten caboodle, has already said that they are quote unquote trained Marxists. I don't know what trained Marxists are. I know what trained marksmanship is. People are. I know what trained monkeys are. That would probably be construed as racism. That's racist. Well, take it as you will. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, you can get mad at his comments too, and you can take it out on me or him. He he liked to be hated on too. He liked me. Except for when you hate on him, he gonna hate back, and then you gonna say something, he gonna say something, then you gonna think like you got balls, and you gonna show up at our door, and then you gonna look up and see that six foot four motherfucking Marine looking back down at you saying, what? And you gonna be like, bruh, I just wanted to say I heard you on Real with Robo, you clowny man, you my boy. Because he'll kick your ass. Now me, I might just cut you a little. But here's the big deal with BLM. They train Marxists. I don't know what Marxists are. Train Marxists anyway. I know what Marxists are, but I don't know what train Marxists are. Like, you, do you have to, like, take a quiz and get a degree? Like, what's going on? 
I mean, I've heard of socialists, Marxists, commies, and progressives. You know, the Democrat. I mean, um, um, yeah, those people. I've heard of liberals, leftists, um, trained military people, trained militia. Like he said, trained monkeys. Um, but I've never heard about trained Marxists. And quite frankly, if you're black and you're saying you're a Marxist, then you're a bigger idiot than you are aware of. Because Marxism is two steps down from white supremacy. Hate to tell you that, but it's true. The great Karl Marx looked upon black people as secondary citizens. Basically, trash. So when BLM said, we are Marxists, I'm like, uh, wow, okay, that's new. Um, but seriously, then you go on their page and you look at who you're donating to, it's the same exact people that accept donations for the D. N C. So basically, they're not trained Marxists. They are puppets for the Democrat National Party. What's even more funny, check this out, because you're going to get a kick out of this. The person that handles the donations for BLM is a known terrorist. So these people not only hate the political stance of America, they hate America, period, and they're part of the Democratic National Party. Wow. So basically what you're doing is you're following the orders of puppets of the DNC that probably keeps their asses out of jail so that they could be on tap for whenever they need a distraction. Think about it. What happened this last time before these new riots occurred. What happened, people? What happened? Trump signed into an executive order money for unemployed people <coughs> because the Democrats in Congress couldn't do the bill without, and this is including our stimulus, us little guys, our stimulus, people. They couldn't do it without the climate green new deal thing. They couldn't do it without legalizing pot for America. They couldn't do it without giving money and providing medical care to everyone and even illegal immigrants. And they just could not do it. without wanting open borders. They couldn't do it, guys. For us, for us little peons, think about this, people that are looting, for you too, because I'm sure you have a job under Trump's economy, you have a job. If not, you have unemployment. The DNC, who's the head puppet master of BLM, cared for you so much that they'd rather throw a distraction out there than sign a damn law that would extend your $600 per week to feed your families 
or to give us taxpayers a stimulus check. They couldn't do it. Trump had to do it, and that's why the riot went on. That's why BLM was sick on the community. Y'all, the police chief in Chicago, she's quitting, or not in, not in Chicago, but in uh, Minnesota, I believe it is. She's quitting. Uh -oh. Seattle. Mm. One of them damn places. First female black police chief. You know Robo ain't got no damn memory. What the hell wrong with y'all? Anyway. First female black police chief in the city's ever. History. In the city's history. In the city's history ever. Now, I'm not too happy with her. I'm proud of her for saying, no, you know, you want to disband and uh, uh, dismantle the police? Fuck you. I'm out. I'm proud of her for that. But she didn't do it for the little peon cops. You know, you beat cops. She didn't do it for you. It's because they were going to cut her and her higher ups, like the lieutenants and all them, their pay. She didn't do it for Joe Schmuckatelli, the beat cop. She didn't make a statement like that. And you know what was funny? That also pissed me off is that the reporter had the nerve to say, if you were a white man, do you think they'd cut your pay? And she said, what do you think? So I'm not liking her for that either. But this shows how disgraceful BLM is. They are making it so black people that have good jobs that are productive in society are being forced to quit. That's crazy, people. They're telling you to go and loot Louis Vuitton so that Louis Vuitton moves out of your community so you can't get no damn jobs to feed your kids. They're throwing these little petty-ass riots at the behest of the DNC because President Trump took care of the little people, you guys, us, and they just could not stand it. And do you know who's getting arrested and taking a fall for these damn idiots? You are. And that's what pisses me off the most. Y'all are not dumb. Quit it. When they say go and riot because of this two minute clip, tell them fuck you, you go and riot. Do you see any of them at any of the riots? No, because guaranteed they already have freaking criminal records as long as my damn leg. And I got some long legs. And nice ones too. Thank you. But their records probably aren't as nice. And they're telling you to go out there and get a criminal record. Then they're turning around and saying, look at these. Look at these poor black people. They're criminals and they can't get jobs. Um, hello? Hello? Y'all need to quit falling for the okie doke. I ain't gonna have it. I know my friends on YouTube... What people call my subscribers. You need to share this with everybody. And you need to say it's time for y'all to get real with Robo. These BLM idiots. They working for the DNC idiots. And we seen all four years. What they done did for us. Nothing. What they do since uh, uh, the midterms. Nothing. They've been spending our tax monies on stupid investigations and I don't care if you're right or left you know they dumb <clears throat> cause they ain't had no outcome except for innocent 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 
dumb. They wasting your tax dollars instead of putting it back in your community. Then when President Trump do something for the community, for the little people, for us, then they want to throw a riot and get big, great companies like Tesla and Louis Vuitton and all them people to move up out of your neighborhoods because they can't pay the insurance because of riots and stupid people like BLM and idiot white people that are following along because they want to be down and woke and SJWs. You're some fucking retarded white people. I said it, I'll say it again. Damn it. And then those good companies where y'all have jobs at move out of the things. You ain't got no jobs, so now you have to get on welfare, and now you're in a circle jerk of fucking yourselves. And you know who takes the fall for all that? You know who takes the fall for all that? You. Because Pelosi is up in her mansion not giving a fuck about you. Waters is up in her mansion not giving a fuck about you. Freaking BLM is up in they... $200,000 homes not giving a fuck about you. Protected by the DNC with their criminal records not giving a fuck about you. But guess what? You the one scrimping, saving, trying hard as you can. Damn shame. Don't fall for that okie doke. I dare any of y'all to put on a two minute video clip that they try to get you worked up over. Put on it. I'm going to wait until I see the full clip. I want to see the body cam for footage first before I go off. See what they do. Oh, you ain't down, man. You're an Uncle Tom, man. You're cool, man. And what I don't get is why they think Uncle Tom is an insult. The real Uncle Tom did not tell his master where the two ladies escaped to. He took that shit to the grave. He was beaten to death and never told. Now one. The version they're thinking of is a 1950s movie version that was made by white producers that were racist as hell and it was okay to be racist back then. You see what I'm saying? Ain't no systemic racism. It's these motherfuckers believing in this racism and telling you, you need to believe in it too. Well, I'm going to tell you what. You could tell me about racism, inequality, injustice, all that shit. As soon as anyone tells me about a program that's for all whites and only whites. That is like the NAACP, the United Negro College Fund, or La Raza that are big and out there in the world. Because I guarantee you I've been on damn near every damn program there is except for the you can't be on this because you're white programs. And I've dealt with almost every program there is and there is no all white for whites only program and I guarantee that and these people talking about how they want to rewrite history you want to know why they want to rewrite history because they don't want y'all folks black white and Mexican, Latino, Latina, Cuban, all them people, they don't want you to know that there was a slave that was treated worse than black slaves, and that was Irish slaves. My ancestors, they were forced to breed with black slaves to make light-skinned slaves for Jamaica and that area. They were sold for 35 sterlings when black slaves were sold for 50. Irish slaves were political prisoners. I'm 
Irish slaves were literally thrown overboard because the captain thought the crew wouldn't have enough to eat for the journey. So, of course, they want to erase history because they don't want you to know that just like there were black slaves, there were white slaves, Native American slaves, Indian slaves, Chinese slaves. They weren't the only ones who went through slavery. And you know what the bad thing about it is? That it's called the right of conquest. They want you to think that white people brought adversity and savagery to America. No, they did not. Believe me, natives were peeling people's scalps off long before they got here. How do I know? I'm part Native American. Matter of fact, I'm Aztec, which is the basis of all natives. Aztec and Incan. I'm not saying that injustices didn't occur. I'm saying now today, this is 3,000 times percent better than it was. The only thing we need to stop now is the hatred and racism against white people because it's unfucking fair. If you want to argue about police brutality, Argue about Hispanics getting smashed on, white people getting smashed on, Orientals getting smashed on, not just blacks getting smashed on, and do it for every damn color of cop. Because if you only have a problem with white cops busting on black criminals, do you think there's black cops that aren't? guilty of police brutality, you're stupid. My friend said it the best. Are all white people bad? No. Are all black people good? No. Are all black people bad? No. Are all white people good? No. In every walk of life, every race, you find your share of ass hats. Well, except for on my Facebook page and on my YouTube, because we have no ass hats here. Nope, we do not have dummies here. My friends, smartest, cream of the crop, top, the best of the best. And that's real with Robo.